Hello, I'm Zardes, and welcome back to my City Skylines for New Players series. Today we are going to talk about all of the basics of road building. So first of all, before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more of this series and follow along with more of my uh, City Skylines content. But now, uh, the basics of road building. So first of all, where to find the roads? You go down here to your menu, you have roads here. It may take some time to unlock all of them. This is a city that is pretty far along in unlocking things. But if you uh, don't have all of these available at the beginning, just know that as you get more population, more roads will unlock. As well as some of these are from the uh, DLCs. So you might not have them if they are... Uh, if you're playing with a base game or not all of the DLCs. But you can find different roads. There's small roads here, medium roads here, large roads, highways, different intersections, which I actually never find them useful, but you might. They are small roundabouts, large roundabouts, and a couple of uh, highway interchanges that you can use. Road condition, we'll talk about that in a little bit, and road tools, and then if you have any content creator pets, they're found here as well. Now, the different snapping options. When you are building a road, if you go down here to toggle snapping, there are different options you have. So let's talk about all of them. If you toggle off all here, you can go to angle, and angle is up here. If you click on the road, then go this way, you can see it toggles the snapping to the 90 degrees. If I turn that off, it does not snap to that angle, so you have a little bit more freedom to work with if that's what you want. Road length, if you look here, it gives you a line there, and that is a line that shows that it is 10 units. The line also pops up when you're about 5 units from the beginning, and then you can go to 10. But if you don't have that, it doesn't show that at all. So you can use that for kind of deciding how far you want things to go. The grid snap, you can see here, it doesn't snap to anything, but if you get close to your zoning grid, it snaps inside that grid. So if you want a road that is parallel to this one, you could go right into the same grid like that. You can't get it right next to it there because they're too close, but you can go right there. And finally, road guidelines. You can see if you hover here, it gives you these different lines, and that can help you determine where you want it to go. Again, if you want it to be parallel to this road, you can use those road guidelines to come out this way, and you can actually go from one guideline to another, and then it is parallel, like that. So that is snapping. Next, we'll talk about the straight uh, curved and freeform options. So a straight road is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a straight line and it can continue like that. A curved road, you are building an individual curve and you click once with the left mouse button to get started. Then you click again where you want the middle of that curve to be. And then you can go over and click where you want it to end. So here I've just built a curve that went five units in and then five units to the right. You could do the same thing here. Go five units in and then five units to the left. And that gives me a 90 degree curve. Freeform is similar. You start and then you click to get the middle of your, or get a kind of a, a starting point for your freeform. But freeform continues. And so then you can just build as you want to get a curvy shape there. That's very useful for building with terrain. And in fact, once you've selected roads, you can go up to info views and go to terrain heights. And then you can see the contour lines. This is a very flat area. But if we go over to here, you can see there's terrain lines here. And if you use the freeform tool, you can go right along terrain lines. And that can give you a little bit of a realistic road because most roads are built so that they are as flat as possible. And that is one, one tool that you can use. Now, upgrading roads. The next button here is to upgrade. And if you decide that you don't want this type of road, 
you can switch to a different one. So switch to two lane road with grass and upgrade that or two lane road with trees and so on and so forth. Or you could even make it into a bigger road like that or even a highway. You could change the road any way you want with the upgrade road tool. The other thing that tool is used for is if you have a one way, you can see that the arrow is pointing that way. If you right click with the upgrade tool and your one way is selected, it reverses the direction of the one way. So again, right click on that and that reverses your direction. When you're building, if you want to raise and lower your road, you can hit the page up and page down buttons. Page up will raise it up and page down will raise it down. If you want to have it at a different height each time, you can change your elevation step down here. You can lower that so that now each time you go up, it is a third of the full elevation step. So here you can do that. I think it's a third. Let's see. Maybe not. It might be a fourth. Yeah, it's actually a fourth. So the full step is four units up. The half step is two units up. And the bottom one is one unit. So you can get your roads at different heights with the elevation step. Then the next thing is to do an easy roundabout. So the easiest way to do a roundabout is to get the curved tool and you want a one way. You want to find a flat space. Let's take this road out and you'll just start. You'll click and then you'll go say five units. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. We're looking for the when that road length line pops up. Click there and then go five this way. And then do the same thing all the way around. Then another thing to remember when you're building a roundabout, you need to quickly lock these nodes in. So you go like that by adding roads in the inside for a little bit, because when you add roads to join the roundabout, that will prevent any nodes from moving. If you don't have that, I'll show you what happens here. That is fine, but then this one messes up your circle. And so now there's no longer a perfect circle because I did not have the nodes locked and the game changes that to do something. I'm not really sure why it does not but that is one thing to remember. Now, every road has four different variations. There is the tunnel variation, which you can do by lowering. And that can be your tunnel. It can be useful when you're at a hill. Let's go over to the hill again. And if you start straight and then go down, it will switch to a tunnel. And so that is the tunnel for this road. If you switch to a different one, like the dirt road, that one will have, oh, that one actually doesn't have a tunnel version, but this industrial road does. And so that's a different tunnel than the other one was. I'll show you the first one again. Can see that it is a little bit different. Then there is the ground level version, which is just right at the ground level. Then there's the elevated version of a road. So that's that one. The industry road is a little bit different. And then there is the uh, bridge version, which if you go much higher, it will trigger the bridge version. This one is a very basic bridge. But if you switch to one of these, it can be a different bridge. See, there is a fancier bridge as opposed to the elevated version of this road, which is like that. So you can use the different versions to get a different look if you want. The next thing to keep in mind is the size and speed limit. Generally, as you go to a higher road from small to medium to large to highway, the speed limit on the road will increase. And that will indicate to the sim drivers that they might want to take the faster road. And you'll want to use that when you are trying to uh, 
impact the way your traffic works. And if you want your uh, people to not use their residential streets, then you should use the smallest road possible. That way they don't prefer that. They prefer the larger roads and it will kind of filter them in that direction. And speaking of that, let's talk real quick about road hierarchy. So in road hierarchy, there are different types of roads. There are the main highways that go through and they have very, very limited stopping points. So like this highway, the people on the highway never have to stop. They have exits that they can get on and off. And in fact, this one has express lanes and then local lanes. So it's even more uh, fancy. Then there are arterial roads. Like over here, we have an arterial road that doesn't have very many stops. This one, they don't have to stop on the main road. They just go right through. They hit this roundabout, then they go there. There's nothing for them to stop. Then you have collector roads, which are more like these ones that go through. And they can have buildings on them. They might have a little bit of uh, houses or zoning a little bit on there. And then, of course, there are the local roads, which are the really tiny ones that people live on or sometimes there might be a few shops on them that sort of thing but you want all of your traffic to be built with a road hierarchy in mind so that the people get on at the local roads go through the collectors then get fed into the arterial and eventually make it over to the highway when they need to and that will help filter your traffic through so that is one thing to keep in mind now finally is road condition if you go to road condition that is not necessary to have in your city, but generally the better the condition, the faster the cars can go on the road. So over here, I don't have very good coverage of road condition just yet in this city. And so any cars driving on those roads will have to go a little bit slower than the ones that are over here that have good coverage of road condition. So you can see also if you switch to condition, then the roads that are red have not been boosted by the road uh, maintenance vehicle. So they need to drive around and get a lot of these roads boosted as well. But that is it for roads today. We will have more videos in the city or in this series for you if you are a new player. So be sure to check those out. But thanks for watching today and I will catch you next time. Take care.